Welcome to our channel. Today, we're venturing deep into the heart of the avian world to unravel the mysteries surrounding a most intriguing creature, the cuckoo bird. Renowned for its evocative call, a sound synonymous with tranquil woodlands and the burgeoning life of spring, the cuckoo harbors a darker, more cunning side to its nature. For you see, behind this bird's unassuming facade lies a tale of calculated survival, of audacious deception, and a mastery of evolutionary adaptation that has captivated naturalists for centuries. Join us as we delve into the world of the cuckoo, exploring the extraordinary lengths it goes to ensure the continuation of its lineage. From its ingenious breeding strategies to its diverse array of species, prepare to be astonished by the resourcefulness of this often misunderstood denizen of the skies. The story of the cuckoo is one of audacity, a tale woven into the very fabric of nature's grand tapestry. At the heart of this tale lies a remarkable, if somewhat controversial, breeding strategy known as brood parasitism. Unlike most bird species, which meticulously construct nests and raise their young, the cuckoo has evolved a far more cunning approach. The female cuckoo, a phantom in the forest, stealthily observes the nesting activities of other bird species, waiting for the opportune moment to execute her audacious plan. With meticulous precision, she targets nests containing freshly laid eggs, often choosing species considerably smaller than herself. In a daring act of avian espionage, she swoops down in the absence of the unsuspecting parents, removes one of their eggs and replaces it with one of her own. The cuckoo's egg, often remarkably similar in appearance to those of its host, is now entrusted to the unwitting care of foster parents. The cuckoo's treachery doesn't end with the laying of its egg. For the cuckoo chick, hatching within the confines of a stranger's nest, survival hinges on a masterful act of deception. From the moment it emerges from its egg, blind and featherless, the cuckoo chick embarks on a remarkable charade. Its very existence depends on convincing its foster parents, often much smaller birds, that it is one of their own. Nature has equipped the cuckoo chick with the tools for this very purpose. Its appearance, behavior, and cries are all tailored to mimic those of its nestmates. The cuckoo chick's call, a plaintive plea for sustenance, is often a remarkably accurate imitation of the begging calls of its foster siblings. This auditory deception is particularly crucial in the first few days after hatching, when the foster parents are most attentive to the needs of their brood. The cuckoo chick, with its incessant begging and strategically placed visual cues, effectively outcompetes its nestmates for food. The cuckoo is but one member of a vast and diverse family, the cuculidae, which encompasses over 140 species. From the familiar call of the common cuckoo in Europe and Asia, to the vibrant plumage of the emerald cuckoo in Africa, the diversity of the cuckoo family is a testament to evolution. In Africa, we encounter the kukals, ground-dwelling cuckoos that build their own nests and raise their young. In the Americas, the yellow-billed cuckoo raises its own young in a nest of twigs and leaves. The cuckoo family has carved its niche in ecosystems around the globe, showcasing its adaptability and evolutionary success. As the seasons turn, a primal instinct stirs within many creatures, known as migration, and the cuckoo is a master of this aerial ballet. The common cuckoo embarks on an epic journey each year, traversing continents in its quest for sustenance. As summer wanes in its European breeding grounds, they gather in large flocks, their distinctive calls filling the air. They take to the skies, embarking on a perilous journey southwards, crossing the vast expanse of the Sahara Desert. Their destination, the heart of Africa, offers respite from the approaching winter, a land of abundant insect life. This annual pilgrimage is a spectacle that has captivated observers for centuries, a reminder of the intricate web of life that connects us all. The cuckoo's call, a resonant two-note cuckoo, is a sound synonymous with spring. But this familiar call is just one note in the cuckoo's surprisingly diverse vocal repertoire. Across the cuckoo family, there exists a veritable symphony of sounds, each species possessing its own unique vocalizations. Some cuckoos, like the emerald cuckoo of Africa, possess a melodious flute-like call, while others, like the striped cuckoo of South America, produce a harsh, grating call. The cuckoo's vocalizations provide a fascinating glimpse into the complex world of avian communication, where sound plays a crucial role in survival and reproduction. 
The cuckoo has long captured the human imagination, weaving its way into the fabric of cultures and folklore across the globe. In many traditions, the cuckoo is seen as a harbinger of spring, its arrival heralding the end of winter and the promise of new beginnings. In Europe, the cuckoo's call is often associated with good fortune and the arrival of warmer weather. In Japan, the cuckoo, known as the hototogisu, is a revered creature, its haunting call often featured in traditional poetry and literature. Native American cultures also have a rich history of cuckoo folklore. For the Hopi people of the American Southwest, the cuckoo is a symbol of fertility and abundance. The cuckoo's association with brood parasitism has also led to negative connotations in certain cultures. Despite these mixed interpretations, the cuckoo's enduring presence in human culture and folklore is a testament to its power to captivate our imaginations. The cuckoo, often perceived as a cunning trickster, might surprise you with its dietary preferences. Across the cuckoo family, there lies a surprising range of dietary adaptations, with a common thread, a penchant for insects. These feathered insectivores are voracious consumers of some of the most bothersome pests in the natural world. Caterpillars, beetles, grasshoppers, cicadas and even wasps find themselves on the cuckoo's menu. This insatiable appetite for insects earns the cuckoo a well-deserved reputation as a gardener's friend. However, the cuckoo's palate isn't limited to a purely protein-rich diet. Many species supplement their insect meals with a variety of fruits and berries, particularly during the breeding season. This dietary flexibility is a testament to the cuckoo's resilience and its important role in maintaining the health and diversity of ecosystems. In the avian world, sexual dimorphism where males and females exhibit distinct physical differences, is a common theme. The cuckoo, known for its cunning and deception, is no stranger to this phenomenon. Some cuckoo species exhibit subtle differences between the sexes, while others display striking contrasts in their appearance. The male emerald cuckoo is a vision in iridescent green, while the female's feathers are a muted blend of browns and greys. The male's vibrant plumage attracts potential mates, while the female's subdued coloration provides excellent camouflage. The channel-billed cuckoo offers another example, with the male's larger size and more robust build contrasting with the female's smaller, more subtly marked appearance. These examples highlight the diverse strategies employed by cuckoos to ensure their survival and reproductive success. The cuckoo's story takes a darker turn when we delve into the realities of life inside the host's nest. The cuckoo chick, often larger and more developed than its nestmates, emerges with a singular focus to eliminate the competition. Blind and featherless, it instinctively begins a macabre dance, evicting the host's eggs or chicks from the nest. The host parents, oblivious to the drama, continue to bring food, their parental instincts focused on the chick that begs the loudest. The cuckoo chick, now the sole occupant, receives the undivided attention and care of its adoptive parents. This seemingly cruel act is a testament to the cuckoo's remarkable evolutionary journey, ensuring the survival of its species. The cuckoo lives a life measured in seasons, a fleeting journey through the tapestry of time. On average, a cuckoo in the wild can expect to live for five to seven years, a period punctuated by epic migrations and daring acts of brood parasitism. However, the journey to adulthood is fraught with challenges and many cuckoos succumb to the perils of the natural world long before reaching their prime. Predation and habitat loss pose significant risks, particularly during the vulnerable fledgling stage. Yet, some cuckoos defy the odds, living to the ripe old age of 10 years or more. Their existence reminds us of the interconnectedness of all living things and the importance of preserving the intricate web of life. As we bid farewell to the enigmatic world of the cuckoo, we're left with a sense of wonder at the intricate tapestry of life that unfolds in our planet's diverse ecosystems. From their audacious breeding strategies to their vital role in controlling insect populations, cuckoos remind us that every creature, no matter how small or misunderstood, plays a crucial part in maintaining the delicate balance of nature. Their distinctive calls, echoing through woodlands and across continents, serve as a reminder of the hidden wonders that surround us, urging us to look closer, listen more intently, and appreciate the extraordinary diversity of life that graces our planet. If you've enjoyed this glimpse into the secret lives of cuckoos, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more fascinating wildlife journeys, 
and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders